MMA fighters trained for years to become the best in their weight classes. Oh, that cool lock attempt. Oh, he's going Why for it. Not? He's looking for the heel hook. Goes oh, he gets the tap! No way! Wow! Zero down <laughs> submission number two! Wow. Hoping to one day become champions and leave a lasting legacy in the sport. But not every fighter's career ends in triumph. And leave these big openings. Oh. Here are some UFC fighters whose careers ended in disgrace. Starting off with a certain fighter named War Machine. Okay, so the UFC thought that they hit the jackpot when they signed John Copenhaver, aka War Machine. <laughs> but boy, were they wrong. This dude was already a hot mess on the UFC, and it didn't take long for him to bring that energy to the big leagues. Just two fights in, War Machine was causing trouble on social media and making the UFC brass shake their heads. He he went too far with a post about former champ Evan Tanner's death, saying he probably killed himself because of money problems. Plus, he thought he was a big shot and refused to fight a new guy, demanding a bigger name instead. All that nonsense got him kicked out of the UFC, but it turns out they dodged a bullet. War Machine went on to spend two years in the slammer for assault and is currently locked up again for some seriously messed up charges, including the attempted murder of his ex-girlfriend, Pornstone star, Christy Mack. Now, the next fighter on this list is a straight-up legend, but even legends can fall. Vanderlei Silva. In 2014, he got involved in some serious drama before a fight with his rival, Kael Sonnen. The fight had already been postponed a bunch of times because Silva was injured, but then things got worse. Turns out he hadn't even applied for a license to fight, and on top of that, he deliberately dodged a drug test. When officials showed up at his house, he just straight up didn't answer the door. Then, when they found him at the gym, he bolted out the side door like he was being chased by a swarm of bees. Not a good look at all. The Nevada State Athletic Commission came down hard on Silva, banning him for life. That decision has since been overturned, but he's still waiting to find out what his punishment will be. He's got a chance to fight again, but definitely not in the UFC. After his ban, he went nuclear and accused the promotion of all kinds of shady stuff, including fixing fights and treating athletes like trash. Eventually, he apologized and was let go from his contract with the UFC. All in all, it's a pretty wild story. Now, everything came crashing down for Vandalay before his fight with Kale Sonnen. But Sonnen also had a major fall from grace. Ah, uh, Uncle Kale, the man who almost pulled off the impossible by beating Anderson Silva in 2010. His quick wit and colorful insults turned him into a fan favorite. But not everyone is a fan of his anti- some people think his constant trash talk about Brazil and its fighters is crossing the line. And that's not all. He's had his fair share of controversies too, including testing positive for elevated levels of testosterone and getting tangled up in a money laundering scandal. Sure, his jokes might get some laughs, but for many, his overall attitude and lack of respect is a huge turnoff. It's tough to be the people's champion when many people don't like how you act. Now, let's talk about another fighter who was given the pink slip by White. Paul Daly, if you're going to take a swing at someone, you better make sure you connect. Unfortunately for Paul Daly, he swung and missed when he tried to sucker punch Josh Koscheck after their UFC 113 fight. Daly was frustrated after being out-wrestled by Koscheck for three rounds, so he decided to take matters into his own hands. Quite literally, instead of showing sportsmanship and shaking his opponent's hand, Daly faked it and then tried to plant one on his face. Needless to say, it didn't go down well. Daly's cheap shot made him persona non grata in the UFC, and he hasn't fought there since. It's a shame that one moment of idiocy has overshadowed what was otherwise a promising career for the British fighter. But it is what it is. Moving on, this next UFC fighter might really surprise you. Rusimar Polhares. Let's get real. Rusimar Polhares has a vice grip and just can't resist breaking his opponent's legs. He's got this habit of holding on to their limbs for longer than he should, like a dog with a bone. This first landed him in hot water at UFC 111 when he gave Tomas Draval's leg a little too much love and ignored the referee's orders to let go. After serving his suspension, he came back to the UFC, but old habits die hard. He just couldn't resist keeping the heel hook on Mike Pierce for a few seconds too many.
ready, even after the poor guy tapped and begged for mercy. That was the final straw for the UFC, and they gave him the boot. But Paul Jares didn't stop there. He went on to hold Kimura for way too long in WSOF and got himself suspended for two whole years. At this point, it's pretty clear that Tokinho just can't help himself when it comes to breaking bones. Now, one of the worst ways to get kicked out of the UFC is by testing positive for drugs. And that's what happened with Mirko Filipovic. So Mirko Krokop Filipovic was feeling a bit blue after his first stint in the UFC didn't go as planned. But he decided to make a comeback. And boy, did he make a comeback with a bang. He beat Gabriel Gonzalez and got his revenge for a past loss. But then things took a weird turn. Anthony Hamilton in South Korea. But he got busted for taking HGH in a random drug test by USADA. The old guy claimed it was for his shoulder injury. But the damage was done. He confessed to the UFC and even put up a statement on his website before announcing his retirement. It was a bittersweet ending to the career of one of the all-time greats from the Pride era. Moving on, this next fighter used to actually be a fan favorite and good friends with Dana White, Stefan Bonner. Like we said, Bonner used to be pretty popular, but that changed when he got caught juicing up after a fight with Anderson Silva at UFC 153. Bonner was brought in at the last minute to fight Silva, and things didn't go well. He got his butt kicked. And he takes him down, swarms him. Big oh, knee. knee, that is hurt. This is going to be it. Looking to finish the fight right here. It is all over! Wow. Anderson Silva! And to make matters worse, he got popped for steroids again. This really upset White because Bonner had lied to him about it. After retiring, Bonner's analyst gig with Fox got axed as well. It was a bad look for the guy, but he still got inducted into the UFC Hall of Fame with his tough one pal, Forrest Griffin. Go figure! Finally, the last UFC fighter on the list was a bit of a troublemaker, Tiago Silva. First of all, this guy got suspended for a fake urine test and talking on the green stuff. But that was nothing compared to what happened in 2014. The Brazilian brawler was arrested for pointing a gun at his ex-wife and her gym owner boyfriend. Yikes! Silva was charged with assault, and Dana White cut him loose from the UFC, saying he'd never fight for the promotion again. But, plot twist, the charges were eventually dropped, and White reinstated Silva. But that didn't last long. Just a few days later, Silva's ex-wife accused him of domestic violence and posted a video of a seemingly high Silva searching her house and admitting to having a gun in his pocket. The UFC realized they'd made a huge mistake and quickly kicked Silva to the curb for good, ending his time in the octagon. And that's all for today. See you in the next one.